Um, howdy, my name is Mauricio, and this is my video on the litter survey and the litter that I found at uh, my two locations. So for the objectives and hypothesis of my survey, my objectives were to find what resides in one location and how that litter affects and can be found in another location, what kind of litter makes up the two different locations, and what is the most uh, common type of litter within the two locations. My hypothesis is that because one location has businesses next to it, the other side, which is close to the beach, could already have pre-existing litter similar to what can be found within the businesses. But in the end, I think the sides that is closest to the business would have more carbon-based litter, and while the side that is closest to the beach should have more plastic and metal-based uh, litter. So for my first map, it shows my two different locations, which is 53rd Street to 45th Street and Seawood. Uh, Seawall Boulevard, and then the second location is just 45th Street and Seawall Boulevard back to 53rd Street and Seawall Boulevard. And for the first location, which is 53rd Street to 45th Street and Seawall Boulevard, um, the main types of litter that I did find were carbon-based litter, such as cigarette butts and just cigarettes, and it's most closest to the businesses. The second location is going to be 45th Street and Seawall Boulevard to 53rd Street. And on that side, I did find a lot of uh, cigarettes and also cigarette butts and uh, different types of litter that were similar to items that you could purchase within the businesses, but there were also a lot of more plastic bottles, glass bottles, and metal bottles, and just uh, any drinkables that could be found near the, the side closest to the beach. So for location A, which is 53rd to 45th Street and Seawall Boulevard, it was mainly composed of carbon-rich materials and litter, uh, with a small chunk of it being metal-rich. And then location B, which is 45th and Seawall back to 53rd Street, um, it was mainly silicone-rich and other types of materials. There was also metal-rich and uh, carbon-rich. And then going by the total litter type by category, there were a lot more smoking items and, car again, carbon-based items going from 53rd to 45th, which again is closest to the business sides. And then from 45th to Seawall and 53rd, there were a lot more bottles and just metal-based and just plastic-based litter. And then for my data table, uh, the main uh, composition types were carbon, metal, and silicone, which for carbon litter, there were plastic water bottles made of polyethylene, terpolethane, uh, which has the second component of polypropylene. And then for metal, uh, it was mainly bottle cap openers and metal bottle caps made of brass and aluminum. And for silicone, it was glass bottles made with aluminum oxide and also a second component of magnesium oxide. The way this litter affects the environment is that they mainly have a high turnover rate with plastic bottles having an average turnover rate of 450 years to fully break down and glass bottles having around a million and metals having around 50 years. And plastic water bottles are common and can be found everywhere, making them one of the most harmful pieces of litter to the environment, with short-term effects including litter being abundant in the natural habitats of many species of animals, and long-term effects including the chemicals that make up the water bottles. And when they sink its environment, they can cause health issues like cancer and other health-related issues uh, for said animals. <clears throat> and then for recent studies that show how this litter further affects our environment, in a study uh, in 2021 by Garbadoradon, uh, cigarette butts are the most common pieces of litter that can be found, and they have a negative uh, connotation to the environment, obviously, and that they reside in. But due to their toxicity, there's a limitation in what exactly can be found in the study. But a lot of the things that were found were um, genetic mutations and a, lot, and a lot of the marine life that were there. So a lot of just uh, deformities and such, and also cancers that were uh, found. And then in a second study, also done in 2021 by Olatoyo, in South Africa, it basically compares the differences between uh, finding more a better alternative to one-use plastic bottles instead of just, you know, having one-use plastic bottles and just throwing them away, which uh, forces them to reside longer in the environment because they have a higher resistance to biodegradability. And so they explored uh, different materials that can be used to make reusable water bottles that are better alternatives than single-use water bottles.